My name is Chris Lowe. I'm a professor of marine biology and the director of the Shark Lab at California State University, Long Beach. So I grew up on a small island off the East Coast, and there was nothing to do but go fishing, swimming, diving, and I loved to fish. And one day I remember catching a shark, and it was different from all the other fish I'd caught. And, and that weird animal that I caught actually made me go to the library to look it up and figure out what it was, and I was not a good student. <laughs> so the fact that it made me go to the library and I found a book about sharks, I started looking through it, and I was amazed. There were these cool animals, and I started reading more, and I was the first person in my family to go to college. It was assumed I was gonna be a carpenter or something like that. But I started thinking, you know, the science thing is actually kind of cool. And, and marine biology is a really interesting field and learning about sharks. I wonder if people get paid to do this. And I realized, well, if you go to college, you could actually get paid to do what I do. And that set me on this path. And I really can't see myself doing anything other than what I'm doing. It was almost like I was made to do this. The Shark Lab's been around since 1966, and our primary mission has been studying the behavior and ecology of sharks. But over that time, the Shark Lab's morphed into more than just that. We study game fish, we study rays, we study a wide variety of species, but the priority is still focused around studying the behavior and ecology, and now the physiology of these animals. So the whole goal of that is to better conserve what we have in our oceans and more importantly, train the next generation so that they can keep that conservation legacy going. So there's a lot of perpetuated myths out there about sharks. And probably the biggest one is if you see a shark in the water, it's going to attack you. And that clearly is not true. In fact, Southern California is a great example of how that's not true. Our shark populations are coming back due to better protection and fisheries management. And we have millions of people that use the ocean for a wide variety of recreational activities every day, year round. And they're in and amongst those sharks. And yet, people are not bitten. So that tells us that you know, these sharks aren't interested in people as being part of their menu. They're not nearly as dangerous as we make them out to be. They're like any other fish in the ocean. Now, when we talk about fish, people think of Nemo and they think of their favorite goldfish and they, they think of that fish as being something important, a loving pet, you know, something that they like to eat, they, they cherish. We need to get people thinking about sharks the same way. So when I say the word shark, the first thing that shouldn't come to mind is dangerous, fearful, bloodthirsty. We need to change that perspective. So I think that's the one thing that I think people misunderstand about sharks. And the more they learn about them, the more they'll begin to understand that they are kind of like Nemo and they are kind of like their favorite goldfish. They're just doing their thing in the ocean. So for me, it's not just about studying the biology of these animals. I need to build the next generation of tools. And I can't do that, I'm just a lowly biologist. But I know there are people out there who can. And if I can get them together, and I can get some educators together, we can make sharks the new whales. The type of animal everybody loves, everybody wants to see, everybody understands now, and everybody wants to protect.